Hello there, TD Boy here, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Now, I'm pretty confident that in the last three episodes, I haven't had my goddamn light on. God damn it. Anyway, let's be gone. Uh, break shield charm with an ancient magic throw. Uh, that will not be necessary. However, what we will be doing is hit a troll with its own boulder. We could do that, but we're not going to be doing that anytime soon because we're going to go over to quests. And we are going to do the Man Behind the Moons, uh, Ghost of Our Love. No, we're not going to do any of these. We are going to go and do In the Shadow of the Estate. I promised Sebastian I would meet him at Feldcroft. He hopes meeting a new student will bring some cheer to his sister Anne. But there's something ominous happening in Feldcroft. Okay, no. Alright, well, let's go Let's go meet him there, shall we? Oh. Uh, do you have a crystal tell us? If you say so, we've got, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got the camp there. They, they don't seem happy to see us. That's absolutely fine because we have Ignatia Wildsmith. There we go. Uh, North Feldcroft. Flu Flames location discovered. Very well, that helps us out a tiny bit. We've got another camp about here, but we will not be investigating it just yet. Slam a, a leaping loyalist commander to the ground. Uh, we could do that, but not yet. So let me let me continue the journey. Let's have a look. What have we got? Nope. Let's, no! No! Uh, weirdly enough, I only took a tiny bit of damage, but uh, I'm sure I'll live. At least I should hope so, and I am certain I will. Let's let's do it. Let's see what we've got. Uh, oh, you made it. I of course I did. How goes you, Sebastian? Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. What do you mean? No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there, Rookwood Castle. I see. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it. Even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. They don't need them, I think. Oh. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. I Anne see. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. Fair I'm enough. hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anna I used to know. I'm sure it will. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. Alright. And let me guess, you want me to uh, this way. investigate this castle at some point. Uh, or at the very least help you do the same. Uh, which I will absolutely help you with. We've got another flu flame. Please Ranrock do. used to be a lot livelier. And it shall be again. The Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time. Everyone stays out of sight. For good reason. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Very well. Let's get. Oh, very well. I, it appears that I'm going first. Let's see. Hello. Aha! Sebastian, where did you. Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm not. If you don't mind, um, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. Well, there can be more than one visit. Speak with Anne and Solomon. Right, let's, uh... Right, Reese boy, you know the trick. Uh, carefully now. All right. Uh, I'm sorry yeah. about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Why would you apologise for feeling pain, Anne Sello? Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's Least of all me, yours. By the way, you must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am indeed. I am. Nice to meet you too. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. Oh, I adored teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Oh, it shan't be for long. The at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. 
It's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. Mm. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. Very well. What's one more frustration? Well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I will help him at every turn. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. Always. You I rest up. You well. I wish you well as I wish you well also, Ms. Anne. Speak with Anne and Solomon. Uh, and I've uh, I've I've uh, I've encountered Boy, futility once or twice before. Nerve. Um very well. Uh, you still have one more nerve left to deal with Solomon Sallow. What might I help you with? Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I know the time. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's doing all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. Everything can be done for her. Even if nothing, to, even if there is nothing to be done about the court, the curse, everything can be done for her. Um, are, are you sure you haven't? Sebastian said you haven't tried everything. Uh, what what exactly is everything? It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Goblins, Getting you say? Is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. I can do uh, one of those, but not the other. Um, hope could be a good thing. Uh, hope can be a good thing. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. I say. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. And I shall help no him in all regards with that. The harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I will, I will I do. you remember what I've said. Good day. Oh, I most certainly won't forget it, good sir. Good day to you too. Sebastian, how goes you? Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. She's his niece. Don't forget that. What are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. And you never shall again. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. Do you blame him? After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow. Always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the Maybe one it's not supposed to, to be. Her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Likewise. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Not alone, you shan't. I need to show you where it happened. Very well. Lead on. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Well, estimate we shan't. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. All right. They've been digging for something. Okay. Yeah, and they've been uh, trading for metal in that regard. Where are you, where are you taking us? All the way up to the no, the castle up over there. there. On that plateau, is where they curse Anne. This way. Why did they curse her? Might I ask? Like, how did it happen? Why, why, why curse her? Oh, what student? Dig through this rabble. Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Bastia, watch out. Ow. Just took a bleed. Tom Hawk. Right, you, you can stop. Right. Why can't I hit you? I will not be revealing that secret to you, good sir. Oh, well done, Miss Matthew. I see what you did. 
Wait. Let's see. I thought I had to defend the Felcroft. Alright, let's do it. This control is worthless. Begin! No, not him. Right, tell you what, I'm just gonna use you. Okay, I should probably uh, get right. Hang on, I'm gonna focus on one of you. Well, okay, wait. Okay, first off, why was that an instant kill? Second, I pushed a button. Right, let's try this exact same thing again, shall we? You, come here. Nice. Oh, hang on. Alright, I'm gonna focus on one at a time. So you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me move for starters. Second. Right. Let me. I was gonna say, why aren't you letting me target stuff? Ow. Okay, right. Something's happening. So, let me target the guy. Right. Alright, hang on. I won't rest. I'm not asking you to not him. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you did. You did. You did go for him. Good. Uh, well done. Nice. Got him. Nice. Got him. Well done. Right, let's move on. Whoa, not him. There we go. Uh, nope, that's one. Nice. Uh, yeah, mate. Got him. Nice. It was clumsy, but we got that. You've made your last mistake. Oh no, I've got many more left in me, good sir. Aren't I? Got him. Sort him out. Loyalist commander, level 26, if you say so. Gotta watch out, just in case I get hit again. And get these guys. Very well, if you say so. Ow, suck a hit. You won't stop me. Very well. Just sit. Oi, you. Stop thinking you're sick. Oh, oops. Again, with that. Right, you. Just sort him out. Easy. Alright. <laughs> Quick way to do it. Very well. If you say so. Got him. Defeat goblins. Alright. It was clumsy, but we got that. That was a bit more than I bargained for. Alright. I tried to warn you. You're alright. We just need to level up a bit and then we can sort them out. <clears throat> there's, a, there's a few of them, but we can uh, once we get better at those spell set uh, swaps, we'll be better. How you doing? Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Uh, <clears throat> they were trying to hide something. So they were, what, were they trying to burn something? Or... Why would... They, I still... They didn't even give her a chance to run. Of course not. Children to be seen and not heard. I'm still confused. So what, what were they... What were they trying to see what I do? It an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs. But I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. I agree. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And 
at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Very well, let's do exactly that. They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Very well. Uh, they've got what looks to be probably a magic tap or something like that. All right. Um, what's this thing? Is this a burner? Whose home was this? This is a home. London, long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Hmm. Okay. Was that? It's a well. Okay. Where does that go? Is it, is it, is it literally just a well? Okay. All right. Fair enough. The, the, uh, you know, you don't blame me for for expecting something magical and strange to be happening with a, a, something as mundane as a well, do you? All right. Look at well potion. Brilliant. Yep. I just need to get better at uh, you swapping between my spell sets when I need stuff. All right. Let's go. What we need now is right. Search the estate for clues. So we've got. We still have a. Uh, Right, what, what if we go up this way? Is there anything maybe to do with this statue? Or... Oh, wait, what's it? What, what's this? I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Yeah. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. What are the ministry doing? Oh, he's got some gold. Okay, yeah, what, what is the ministry doing that's uh, preoccupying them from a little goblin rebellion? Oh, we've got whatever this is up here. Let's have a look. Yeah, mate. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Yeah. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Which is where? The, uh, am, am I am I being an idiot? Where's the house? We can, oh wait. Oh, as in like the destroyed house, so up here, right? Okay, do. Let's see what we've got. So what we have? A frame, a picture. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. They're trying to burn it? <clears throat> they didn't do a very good job. I don't even see anything burnt on it. Besides, uh, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be part of the painting or... I have no idea. Like, looks like... Uh, yeah, when I look closely, it does actually look like it's been trying to burn it. looks like uh, some, someone's cast something at it. Uh, right, alright. Rebellion. What have we got? Something in there. Hang on. Uh, nope. Nope, not you. No, wait, really? Uh, okay, alright. Let's have a look. Search the estate for clues. Can we get in here? We can, and there's something in there. But you won't let me do anything about it, which is weird. There's, there's definitely something in there. Alrighty then, what's this? Okay, right, clearly I need to have a, a better look around. Oh, what's this? We have a, a well and a bench, or a path. This well looks familiar. What do you mean it looks familiar? Does it? I don't remember seeing it. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, oh. the well, the view. We have. What do you mean? When? In a pensive. Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Yeah, this is the, uh, Felcroft is the, uh, wait, is it Felcroft or Feldcroft? Felcroft is the hamlet that, uh, that the uh, those wizards, I forget the I forget the name. Uh, the uh, the ancient magic, the pensive, Sebastian Salo. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor, hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you? I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like nope. in Quidditch? Nope. And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Okay, I didn't... Let me see if I've got this straight. <clears throat> You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. Yes. And now you've been witnessing memories left by Keepers. Yes, Keepers of oh, that very magic. And this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch Keepers hundreds of years ago. Yes. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all I'm not a part of it when you put it like that. The point is we both have good reason to search this house. The wall you behind us. Answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Interesting. Let's go. 
Look at this. What's up? Someone piled this here for a reason. Uh, yes. Is it blocking something? Yeah. See. Only one way to find out. All right, let's go. Huh. Interesting. A stairwell. Why bother blocking a stairwell? Uh, there might be something here worth a closer look. Let's go. Here we go. They've left <clears> all of this simply strewn about. Lumos. Yeah, mate. Tells me they're after something. Oh, devil snare! I didn't even that. I didn't even get this out because of that. I just got it. There we go. You might want to get Lumos yourself, mate. I'm just saying. Uh. Isadora Morganak, journal entry one of seven. Ooh. It is my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man, much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of their torment. A journal <clears throat> entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. I can absolutely relate to the want to do that, but as as uh, the other professor said, it's not your pain. Pain helps to find people. Uh, Isadora Morganite journal entry 207. I travelled here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal, and I am the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever will I forever regret not having done more? You can always do more, but that does not mean <coughs> that does not mean oops. That does not mean remove people's memories. I cannot look into their eyes knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today. The one who so reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Yeah. There's something back there as well, so hang on. Nope, alright, well, let's get... Nope. Let's, uh... So, sort you out quickly. Devil Snare. Yeah, mate. Right, well, clearly we need some more stuff. Uh, so, are we not... Explore the cellar? Alright, well, let's go further. Nope, there's nothing else here. Alright, well... Wait. Okay, I thought... Wasn't sure if that, uh... Hmm. Alright, where are we going? Can I, just, can I just go over or? Oh, we just. Oh, right, we just destroy it. Okay, I see. Whoa! Lumos. Alright. Why is Devil Snare just chilling here? That's the thing. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Uh, no, come here, mate. Speak to Sebastian. Oh, you're just not going to come over here? Alright. I'm going to go back over here and speak to you. I know it sounds strange, but honestly. Nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Very well. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. A few I'm times. Listening. I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. <laughs> I knew you weren't telling me everything. Ancient magic. What does that even mean? I'm not even sure, I'm really. entirely sure. But the Keepers have said that it's a powerful magic that should only be wielded by a select few. And you can wield it? Apparently so. I don't know. But Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? Very That's strong what to find wizard out. magic. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. Ominous will be flawed. I don't know I if can. you can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway. Here we come. Hmm. Right, so why I'm would that work? Yeah, mate. Undercroft, enter. Let's go. Why, why would there be a secret passageway to get to here? That's the thing. Alright. What have we got? There's a chest. Why would the door lead us here? I don't know. Sebastian, look. You can see that too, right? Open sesame. It's a piece of a map. Have we got to complete a map here? I feel like we have, right? Why hide a triptych here? A triptych? Seems as if something's missing. A note. 
Let's have a look. Well, that definitely looks like a whole... Uh, yeah, I was going to say, that looks like a, a massive piece of uh, map was uh, ripped out. So we're going to try and complete it. It's a rune. We've got an upside down A. Some, it looks like half a compass with some symbols of ancient magic in it. Nice. Uh, I don't really know what a lot of this means at the minute. Anything helpful in the note? Not yet. Do you, you recognise any of this? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I Possibly. can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. Mm. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. It could just then be we'll standard go go goblin magic. Means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did All I right. mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? All right. Did not. Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. Oh, very well, you do that. No Thank you. no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. Very well. It wasn't exactly uh, my I'll choice, but sure. Touch. Till then. All right. I shall speak to you shortly, Sebastian Sato. In the quest complete, in the shadow of the estate. All right, interesting quest. And let me know the next time you plan on paying a visit to your sister, Sebastian. Your gear slots are full, god damn it. Alrighty then, the time hath come for me to depart. I hope you guys had about as much fun as I did. If there are any games you'd like to see me play, feel just to them down in the comments, and I'll see you guys on the next one. And have a split. Meet me near the ruins of Falbarton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Okay, <clears throat> interesting. And have a splintful day!